Hello, I'm Michael Bretterman with the Geisen Corporation in the USA. This is the instructional video for the Multiblast 3D. We will be covering the installation, use, and maintenance of your Geisen Multiblast 3D. After you've read your safety manual, this video is intended to give you a better visual understanding of your equipment. This is the back of the unit. The first thing you're going to do when you receive it is inspect the unit for any loose wires or connections that might have occurred during shipping. Before you make any connections on the unit, you want to make sure the unit is properly grounded. Run a ground wire to this lug right here on the system. This is the air inlet of the equipment. The first thing to do would be to make your air connection to the system. You can then pressurize the pneumatic manifold by opening this valve. The gauge here reads your incoming air pressure. This should be set to 80 PSI. Make sure the unit is in the off position. Then you can plug your unit into the wall. You can now turn the unit to the on position. Once you turn it to on, the fire suppression light will flash once. If the fire suppression on the unit has been discharged, this light will remain constant and you won't be able to use the unit. Once you press the start button, the dust collector will start. The emergency stop button will kill power to the system. When you're ready to blast, you want to make sure both slide gates are fully open. This slide gate opens the exit to the dust collector. This slide gate opens between the cabinet and the dust collector. This allows air to pass freely between the cabinet, through the collector, and out the dust collector exhaust. This system features a single-use media hopper. That's this unit back here. You can add media just by lifting the lid and pouring in right here. This has the benefit of protecting the color clarity on your 3D printed parts. If you wanted to use the continuous use feature that recycles the media, you can pour the media directly into the cabinet. After you put your part inside the system, you can now hit the start button. If you open the door after you've hit the start button, the safety switch on the door will automatically shut the system down. You're now ready to blast. This system has a media source selector. The bottom position is for continuous use media. The top position is for single use media. It's as easy as pulling the hose out of one and sliding it into the other. When you're ready to blast, press the foot pedal and hold the part in front of the gun. There's an air blow-off nozzle, which allows you to blow off any excessive media on the part. The Multiplast 3D has a flip-down door design. This has a perimeter which encloses the center of the door. Any media that winds up on the door, when you close the door, will fall into the cabinet. This keeps the area around your machine clear and free of debris. In order to drain the media out of the machine, open the tab at the bottom of the machine. The single-use media hopper can be drained in the same way. In order to pulse the dust collector, both slide gates have to be closed. In order to pulse, the system has to be on, but the dust collector off. Don't hit the start button but press the pulse button. This purges the filter of any debris that it has collected. In order to remove the glass, remove the top screw on either side. This will permit you to be able to slide the glass out to either change the glass or to change the protective film on the inside. Loosen the bottom screw just slightly. 
This frees the tab and permits you to be able to slide the glass out sideways. Your old antifrost sheet will peel right off so you can add the new one. The gloves are very easy to change, especially with the glass removed. Just open the quick release and remove the glove. Add the new glove on in the opposite fashion. Slide the glass back in and reinstall the screws. It's very easy to change the neoprene protective liner. Just pull over the acorn nuts. And install the new piece. In order to change the nozzle, remove the front cap. Install the new nozzle and close it up. In order to change the air jet, remove the back cap. Remove the spring and remove the air jet. In order to change your dust collector filter, remove the nuts holding on the dust collector door. This hose that runs around the perimeter of your dust collector is the fire suppression unit. In the event of a fire inside your dust collector, that hose will discharge and will extinguish the fire. To change the filter, Push this lever backwards while holding the filter. This permits the filter to be able to lower and tilt towards you. For a really dirty filter, it's recommended that you place a bag over the filter as you're removing it and you tip it into the bag. Replace the door in the opposite fashion it was taken off. In order to remove the dustbin from the collector, loosen the thumb screws. After they're loose, pull them sideways while holding the dustbin. Reinstall in the opposite fashion.